All right, chapter eight review. First thing, goal number two, messenger RNA. The function of messenger RNA, it's in its name. It carries the message. Okay, and another name for messenger RNA or what is embedded within it would be the codon. The second type of RNA, tRNA. You will also notice when it comes to the RNA family, the first letter before RNA is lowercase for a reason. Okay, so they need to stay lowercase. So, um, that is one of those famous questions like which came first, the chicken or the egg? It's just based upon the scientists that discovered it. So, tRNA, remember, T stands for transfer, so it transfers amino acids. If you said on your quiz, like, carries the amino acids, brings the amino acids, to me, as long as you know that it's bringing the amino acids, that's the important part. Um, if you just put transfers but didn't put anything else associated with it, that would be wrong. You need to say it's transferring the amino acids. Now, the other important part for tRNA is the anticodon. If you put anticodon and nothing else, that's half the question, okay? I mean, it makes me really proud that you remember that it's the anticodon, but you need to be able to, that's the key step, is that it brings in the amino acids, okay? Does that answer what you needed? The last type is rRNA, okay, and again, they're all part of the name, so it's the ribosome. It just stands for ribosomal because the rRNA makes up the two subunits. It makes up the large and small parts of the ribosome, so you have large and small. Again, it's not important to me that you memorize the large and the small. If you look at the picture, one is bigger than the other. I get it. You can see one is large and one is small. It's more important to me that you understand that ribosomal is where we're making the proteins. That's where protein synthesis occurs. That's what's important to me. Okay? Um, I understand the mouse is a teeny tiny bit in the way here. But it says complementary sequence to this following code. Remember, complementary is referring to the RNA partnership. The other thing, too, like if you get to the test and you're like, oh my gosh, do they want the DNA pairing? Do they want the RNA pairing? Look at what goal you're on. Look at the questions around it. Are the questions around it asking you about RNA or DNA? In this case, everything on here is asking you about RNA. That's your key. I'm talking about the RNA partners. So, in RNA, A now pairs with U, T pairs with A, and C and G always go together. Okay, so that should be your sequence. If we were going to kick it up a notch, it's not a question on the quiz, but if we were kicking it up a notch, how many amino acids have we coded for in this sequence? Two. Two. Do we have any leftover bases? Yes. How many left over? Perfect, just one base left over. So three, there's one amino acid, two amino acid, and then yeah, that's just the leftover. Questions so far on the two level two questions? Okay. Can I erase this stuff? We're okay. This is that part where I'm telling you the process is more important to me than the little pieces, okay? The reason I give you this specific picture instead of just saying, tell me about transcription, is because for some of you, the picture helps you put it together. And I want to give you that visual piece because it's not like I'm giving you the answers, I'm just giving you a visual aid. Now for some of you, if you're like, the picture confuses me, then just ditch the picture. <coughs> right. 
what the steps of transcription are off to the side, and that's fine with me. The first thing that's happening that's right here. Oh, bad color choice. Let me write a different one. Probably still a bad color choice. DNA unzips. So that's the first thing. The DNA starts to unzip. The polymerase comes in. We're unzipping and we're forming that transcription complex right where basically we're going to copy DNA to mRNA. The second step, and these pictures kind of help you out a little bit, the nucleotides, more specifically the RNA nucleotides, pair up. Okay, and the third thing that's right here where this is leaving, mRNA leaves nucleus. Those are the three things I'm looking for when it comes to the test. On the test, I'm not worried about this. Don't stress yourself out about that. The reason it's there is to help guide you. Because if you looked at this, this is technically pointing to this long strand that's leaving. Maybe that's a key, and you're like, oh, I know that's the mRNA. Oh, well, if this is the mRNA, oh, the mRNA is leaving. Okay? Same with five. Okay, well, these are the nucleotides. Well, what are they doing in step two? Oh, the nucleotides are pairing up. It's, not to, you, it's never been about memorization for biology. It's always been about how can you apply what you know. To me, this part that I X'd off, that's memorization. Everything right here, these blue steps, that's applying the vocabulary terms. Okay? For the sake of your quiz, 7 is the transcription complex. If you got these wrong, but you got these three things right, it is correct. Okay? Six is pointing to the mRNA. Do we need to that for a test? Nope. Five is pointing to the RNA nucleotides. And four is pointing to the DNA. For number seven, DNA polymerase. Not DNA. But RNA polymerase, yes, would have totally worked. For number five. For seven. Okay, again, for the test, I care about that. That's what I care about. I care about, do you know what's happening in transcription? Do you know that transcription goes from DNA to RNA? That's what I care about. Okay? Which probably gives you a pretty good clue that for translation, I only care about three things. Yep. What's happening? I care about the process. The picture's great if you remember the order that it goes in, okay? So if we were looking at this, right here, that's step number one. Like, that's box one, right there, okay? Right here, step, which happens to be step two, that's two. And step three, I kind of drew this on some of your papers to help you out. That's step three. Now, of course, if you don't remember the picture, then none of that's going to help you. Okay, then remember, what is the goal of translation? The goal of translation is to go from <coughs> RNA to protein. If you know that much, you've got two of the three steps down. If we know the goal is to make a protein, then step three, protein is made. Okay, work our way backwards. What makes up a protein? Amino acids. So step two must have to do with amino acids. Okay, amino acids... Form 
peptide bond. Because they have to be bonded together. We can't just have a bunch of amino acids floating around and we'll never make the protein. Okay, we'll now go backwards a step. How did the amino acids get there? tRNA brought them there. So the tRNA, or the anticodon, pairs with mRNA. Or the code. So really, if you know the end result, we just worked our way backwards. I knew I needed a protein. Okay, well, I remember from semester one, I remember from chapter eight, proteins are made of amino acids. Okay, if I remember amino acids, they had to have come from somewhere. Well, right here, they came from this weird Santa looking hat. Well, there's tRNA. So the tRNA comes in. Again, that's what I care about on the quiz. If you had those three parts right, then to me this quiz question is 100% correct. Because you did it, and I'm sure you want to know, this is the start codon or amino acid. This is the peptide bond. Three is the large ribosome. I'm just going to put ribo for short. Four is the tRNA molecule. Um, five is pointing to the start codon. Seven is pointing to the mRNA. Eight is pointing to the anticodon. Now the mouse is in the way. Is six pointing to the codon itself? No, it's small ribosome. Small ribosome? Okay. If you didn't put start codon for five, if you just put codon, I'm okay with that. I mean, that's fine. As long as you knew it was a codon. Sorry, I couldn't really see because my... is in the way. 7 is the mRNA, as if, if I'm looking at the right sequence. Okay, but remember, to me, that's, that's fine. That's bonus material. Okay, awesome. You are great at memorizing a picture. That's, I understand what translation means. Because the whole concept to chapter 8 was that central dogma theory. It was the theory of going from DNA to RNA to protein. Well, how do you get from DNA to RNA to protein? You have to go from replication to transcription to translation. Questions over the rest of this goal through the three questions, the level three questions on this goal? Okay, you should give yourself a score, and I just want to jump seriously right into seven. fan of memorization questions, but I feel it's important you understand what these basic vocab words are in order to understand the rest of the questions. So what is a point mutation? Just super simple, one word, point mutation. Substitution. Substitution. Well, you said one word. So, substitute.
substitution. That's all it is. It's when one switches places with another. So, you switch places. Does the number of codons change? No, you still have the same number of codons. Okay, now what's different with a frame shift mutation? Steven, um, Steven sure. Add or subtract. Okay, so. You can add. Well, you can add or subtract. Okay. Does a frame shift mutation change the number of codons? Yes. Okay, the level two questions are either you knew the vocabulary words or you didn't know the vocabulary words, so you either knew or you didn't. I really like this third question because it tells me one thing. Did you read the instructions? And as I walked around and a lot of you were asking me questions and a lot of you said, but I don't find the start. It's because you did not read the instructions. One mutation is called a point mutation where only one base in the gene is copied incorrectly during DNA replication. This would be an error in the DNA building enzyme, DNA polymerase. Here is your original sequence. So this is giving you the original sequence. Now, number seven. Now, again, rewrite the original DNA sequence. It wants you to copy exactly the original DNA sequence. But let's stim um, simulate a point mutation to the 13th base. It was changed from a G to an A. That is the only thing that changes. Every other base is exactly the same as the layer above it. Must have jumped one. Okay. That's all that that's all that instruction was telling me. Did you read it or did you not? Because it's identical. Okay? Now it says, now transcribe. If we remember, remember, transcribe is when we go from DNA to RNA. Now I want you to start changing things. So this is where T becomes A, and A becomes U, C and G still stay together. <coughs> I'll match up the amino acids. You guys have the chart, so I'm going to have to rely on you. I do not have a chart in front of me. All I know right here off the top of my head, I told you you had to memorize one 
of the codes and only one code. The only code I asked you to memorize was start. Start is A-U-G and it's met. That is the only one I asked you to memorize and that still holds true. What does UCG stand for? I'm going to have to go by trusting you guys. Okay, G-U-G. A-C-U. Did I copy something? A-C-U, I'm going to tell you, wait. A-C-U is I-L-E. I-L-E. No, This right, U-G-A stop? Yeah. No, A-C-U is T-H-R. A-C-U is T-H-R. ACU is THR. Yeah. ACU is THR. ACU is THR. Are you recording with me? ACU is THR. All right, got it. THR. So now, what do I do with these boxes? Stop is UGA. So what do I do with all of these boxes? Cross them off. Right there, front row, corner pocket. Cross them off. We're done. You got it. If you did not cross them off, I would have marked that question wrong. Yes. Why? Because as soon as it says stop, stop, you're done. Likewise, if it didn't say start, cross them off, don't start. Now, the question said, did this change the sequence? Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It stopped too soon. You have to remember to cross that off. Listen to what the problem is telling you. So far okay on that question? Yep. All right. Let's look at the frame shift. Super quick to, you don't have to say it out loud, but for those of you who messed up this problem or thought this problem was confusing, was it because you did not read step seven correctly? Okay. It was easy. All right. Another group of mutations is called frame shift mutations. Okay, so frame shift mutations, we are now going to say right here, it says we are going to add the A. So I added A. Otherwise, again, look right here, rewrite the original sequence. That's going to be the confusing part. Make sure you still add that in. Like, I didn't delete the C. I still need to add the C. But yet I almost skipped it because, you know, they're not, they're not on center anymore. This is kind of difficult to do on the overhead. Okay, now's your chance to transcribe it. Now's your DNA to RNA. Right off the bat, what's AUG mean? Start. Start. So I'm starting from the beginning. All right, my next sequence is UCU. Next I have GGU. What was that? G-L-Y. Okay. Uh, next I have G-A-C. Um, that looks like I have U-C-G. A-G-G. A-R-G. 
G C U C G A G G C U U G and I have a left over A. Is there a mutation with this? Yes. 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 What didn't happen? Stop. It never stopped. Because I don't have both pieces of paper in front of me, I cannot answer that because my memorization was not functioning at that moment. Okay? But even if it coded for a different amino acid, would this still give us the wrong protein? Yes. yes. Because it never stops. Like, this is just going to keep on going until it either hits another stop codon way down the line or maybe it never hits a stop codon. But this will not give you the correct protein. Okay? Questions over this. This is a perfect review for transcription, translations, mutations.